So when you see a restoration site that looks hammered, before you jump to conclusions and go all keyboard crash out, I want you to picture this inside your head. Stop hating and start investigating. Stop hating and start investigating. So you think we're the ones? I saw your video where you talked about how those of us who are restoring the forest are the ones that are bringing in the invasive weeds. You know what I got to say to that? Thanks for watching our restoration site so closely. I wish more people did. But don't be so quick to point the bony finger of accusation at us until you learn how fascinating nature actually is. It's, the story is way more interesting. See all those little green jobbers there growing up? We didn't plant any of those. And they didn't hitchhike in on our equipment either. Did our equipment bring in the seeds of all these little rushes growing? Oh no. We didn't plant that fern. Oh no. We didn't plant this Australian fireweed. Oh no. So how did they get here? So this area was logged before and it was logged like in the 40s and 50s and 60s when there were very few forest regulations. So they would just bring bulldozers from one side to the next and they'd have invasive seeds inside of the, uh, inside of the tracks and stuff and it would get these new locations. And right after they clear cut all those weeds, we have the full sun because there's nothing to block the sun and they would grow and they'd make even more seeds and they'd all over the place. Then they flew helicopters over and they aerial seeded this area with a, just like one type of tree, usually dug fir seeds that were coated in rodenticides. So when the dug fir tree seeds sprouted, they all grew up at the same time and so close together that they completely shaded out the ground so nothing else could grow. Not native plants, not invasive plants. And then we come in here and we clear out the trees above this buried creek. So this creek was buried, so no fish were able to get up here to spawn or anything like that. So we unburied, we un we recontoured, we planted some trees, but all these other native plants just popped out of the earth. Do you know what else just popped out of the earth? Your mama? Oh, non-native and invasive plants. They had dormant seeds chilling in the soil for sometimes up to 100 years, just waiting for a fire or some other disturbance to create the right conditions for them to sprout again. And what sucks so bad about these invasive plants is a lot of them come over without their predators and competitors, and there's no native insects that were have evolved to eat them, so they just kind of run unchecked. Restoration is a new field, and we do learn from our mistakes a lot of times, and it's evolving. It's evolved just since I got involved when I was 18, which is just like what 10 years ago or almost 40 years ago but we already learned from the moving invasive species mistake a long long time ago in red River rising we would never make that mistake that all of our equipment is like steam cleaned like thoroughly and inspected before it's allowed on the field you can learn more about what we're doing at redwoodsrising.org and you can learn more about what i'm doing at griffgriffith.info